Okay, next in this little shorter video series on uh, series LLCs, one of the things I want to talk about is the naming conventions. Um, this is something when we talk about it with clients and they want to form a series LLC in Texas, uh, it gets brought up fairly early on. And it's difficult to kind of express without seeing it in uh, written form. But one of the things that we're going to do is talk about the naming conventions. So when you name your series LLC, number one, you need the name of the series. You need the name of the series LLC, the parent company, whatever it is, and then you need the names of the individual series. So the, the typical thing that folks want to do when they form that series LLC is they want to name it, uh, you know, Nate Gilbert Properties LLC, all right? That's the name of your series LLC, right? Then when you name your series, you want to say series A, series B, series C. So it ends up being Nate Gilbert Properties LLC, series A. And that seems very easy to do. Um, I'll tell you why I don't like it. <laughs> and I advise clients to go a different direction is we want to reduce confusion. And it's not necessarily about what's going to look good on a sign, right? Like we don't want to have a big jumbled uh, name when we're worried about branding, that sort of thing. But if we're just holding properties and these are for kind of internal use only, um, we're not going to put these up on rental signs. We're not going to have, you know, Burger King LLC, try to do branding, that kind of thing. We're more worried about internally recognizing the individual series, being able to use those series names and have those be recognized by financial um, and tax institutions like the IRS. So for instance, for mine, uh, if I was gonna do a series LLC and hold my office in one of the series, in the first series that we form, right? So it would be Nate Gilbert Properties LLC. Then the series name would be something like 4634 Days of Olive Road, uh, my office address, LLC, a series of Nate Gilbert Properties, LLC, a Texas series LLC. Huge long name, right? It's very confusing if you don't know the naming convention, if you're not familiar with it. So let's break it down a little bit. Like I said, so it's 4634 four, Days of Olive Road. Uh, that's my address. That's what I usually use, advise clients to use for their series LLC. If they're going to hold property, we'll put the address in there. So 4634 Days of Olive Road, uh, LLC. So it's its own LLC. A series of Nate Gilbert Properties, LLC, and then identify that as a Texas Series LLC. The whole reason for that end part as a Texas Series LLC is that we're going to put the IRS on notice. And if the client or yourself uh, wants to get an individual EIN, employer identification number from the Internal Revenue Service, uh, they will need to have a distinguishing name for that LLC, for that series, excuse me. So when you put the IRS on notice, like, hey, this is a Texas series LLC. This is what we're doing. This is why we're doing it. This is why this name looks the way it does. Uh, the IRS knows about Texas series LLCs, but if you don't put them on that notice and you just say, Nate Gilbert Properties LLC series A, then it gets a little confusing and they might want to reject that EIN application and make you apply individually you know, up through paper and do some other verification stuff. Um, additionally, for your bank. Um, so if you don't have an EIN for that individual series, and that's a whole other topic uh, we can cover, if you don't get an EIN for that individual series, when you form a new bank account, the bank is going to want to be on notice, especially if it's a bank out of state or they just got branches here in Texas and aren't too familiar with the structure of uh, Texas series LLCs. That can be uh, helpful for them as well and having those distinguishing features uh, on that name. So like I said, the name is important. Uh, I'm not going to go into registered series, protected series, that kind of thing in this video. I just want to talk briefly about um, those naming conventions for the series in your LLC and why I do the way do them the way that I advise clients to do them. Um, like I said, it's confusing. It's a big long name, but as I said, this is not for branding purposes. This is not for what looks good on a T-shirt or on a jacket or on a, your new Yeti coffee mug. This is for internal use. This is so your attorneys, your financial institutions, uh, the IRS, and things that look good on deeds. That's what we want to be concerned with, is being able to identify exactly which series these went into, exactly what series the LLC they belong to, uh, and what kind of responsibilities that has. So hope this was a little bit informative. Um, hope you got something out of it.